Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is Java? Very simple and straightforward question, okay? So for this particular question, different people will answer in different ways, okay? Some people will answer only one or two points. Some people will simply say that Java is simply a programming language, one of the programming languages available in the market, but here, Okay, here in this session, I am going to explain Java in a bit detail so that out of all these points, you can mention anything that you remember while you get this particular question during the interviews. Okay, so let's get started. So the answer is what is Java? First straightforward answer should be Java is a programming language. There are many programming languages in the market. Okay, what are the other programming languages in the market? other programming languages that are there in the market. If you talk about, we have Python programming language, then we have C sharp, then we have Ruby, even JavaScript. Okay, whatever I remember, I'll type it out. PHP, Perl, okay, the latest ones, Go. Okay, like that many programs, many more, and many more many more programming languages exist in the market. Okay? So, okay, Java is one of the popular programming languages that are there in the market. One of the I'm saying, okay, there are several popular programming languages in the market. Java is one of them. That should be your first answer. Similar to this programming languages, Java is also a programming language. Okay. So what is the purpose of Java then? What do you do with the help of this programming language? Okay. Then first, after explaining what exactly is Java, you have to explain using Java programming language. Okay, developers will develop web applications. They can develop mobile applications. They can develop enterprise applications. Okay, and uh, even a software like, you know, uh, the development platform like Android, okay, for mobile phones is built using Java only. Okay, so programming language for developing web, mobile and enterprise applications and many more stuff guys. Okay, then, Coming to the third point that you can mention, okay? First thing is, is a programming language for developing the applications, okay? Simple thing, if someone asks you, just to conclude what is Java, you can say that Java is one of the most popular programming languages that are there in the market for developing different type of applications, okay? And then go to the details like, you know, there are several programming languages out of that, Java is one of the popular ones and give examples for other programming languages. Then you can mention the different type of uh, applications that uh, using this Java programming language the developers can build. Okay, so that uh, the interviewer will know. Okay, uh, to what depth you have the knowledge. Okay, people can simply answer this question saying that Java is a programming language. But okay, just to make the difference, just to get the attention of the interviewer, you can specify all these extra details so that uh, whatever the question they ask, if you are answering in more detail they will understand that this guy is serious this guy knows this guy knows many things okay like that our answer should be guys okay that's the reason i have formulated the answer in this diagram in that way as an answer for this particular question okay then third point that you have to mention is java is an object oriented programming language okay java is an object oriented there are many other programming languages which are object oriented like python okay coming to c language it's not an object oriented okay so C language is not an object oriented, whereas Python, C sharp, all this are, okay, Java are all this object oriented. But coming to Java guys, Java is not 100% object oriented, okay? So you can give more details like this. Even though Java is an object oriented programming language, it's not 100% object oriented, okay? So most of the part of the Java is object oriented. That's why we call it as an object oriented. But ultimately, Java is not 100% object oriented. Why? What is the reason? What is the reason, guys? Because of the primitive data types we have in Java. Primitive data types. What are the different primitive data types we have? Int, or first we can start with, you know, byte, then short, int, then long, okay? Then uh, float, then double, then cap, then boolean, okay? So, so these are the different primitive data types uh, in Java, byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean, okay? These are the, okay, different uh, 
primitive data types. All these primitive data types in Java are non-object oriented. Okay. Why the primitive data types in Java are not object oriented? Because for uh, for every object, some memory will be reserved. A lot of memory and you know, a lot of uh, you know, uh, you know, performance aspects need to be involved in uh, treating an object. For this basic uh, stuff, in the earlier days, our computers are not that much fast enough as they are right now. We don't have so much of memory as we have right now. So Java was there from the uh, you know earlier days. So what happened at the time that uh, the developers of the Java, the one who has developed the Java, right? They decided to put, okay, this primitive data types because the, these are the basic ones, basic operations that everyone will do is store the data, right? Every time they keep storing the data, transferring the data and all those stuff. For that, they use primitive data types like anything. For that, if they attach object-oriented concept to this primitive data types, okay, the memory consumption and everything will go up. In that olden period of time, the machines were not supporting that that much amount of storage and all. So later, the machines now nowadays, if you see that uh, the technology has changed a lot, and you know, a lot of memory and all those things are there. But still, Java guys have decided uh, to go with these data types as a primitive data types, which are non-object oriented. So what is the problem in that? Even though we have a lot of space, still they are saving the memory, right? Why to unnecessarily make them object oriented and you know consume memory? that convention they followed and they still kept it as a uh, non-object oriented only guys still even these days when we have a kind of machines and you know computers which have a lot of memory and all those stuff okay so hence we can say java is a object oriented programming language but it's not a hundred percent object oriented programming all these things if you explain as much as possible when you get this kind of question these are very silly questions simple questions they're asking so the, uh, you have to take this as an opportunity to explain whatever you know about Java. Then they will get impressed. For the simple question, this guy is giving, this person is giving this much of answer, this much of knowledge uh, this person is holding. They will get their confidence, okay? So make every step, you know, you know, uh, as an opportunity and uh, utilize for your purpose by answering such level, okay? Then you can answer. The next part that you can answer is uh, Java is a platform independent programming language. What does it mean? At a high level, you have to explain. You can write your code in any operating system. That code you have written in a different operating system, you can run in this operating system also to just sh uh, share the file over the internet from this operating system, of this machine having some operating system to that machine having another operating system. You code here, you run there. What's the problem? No problem. That's why it is platform independent. You can write anywhere, you can run anywhere. Okay. You don't have to write again for another operating system. For example, I'm using Windows machine. Now I created a very good, uh, big complex Java program in my machine, okay? But my friend is having a Mac machine, okay? So my friend is asking me how to write the program. Instead of me going there again to the Mac machine and start writing the Java program, whatever I have written in Windows machine from scratch in his machine, his or her machine, what I will do is I'll share this particular Java file to my friend and uh, Java, that Java file my friend will add into the, uh, you know, his machine and will run it simply. The, my friend don't have to write, I don't have to write. Okay, that's it. Okay, you can write anywhere. You can write in any operating system or you can write in any machine having any operating system and run in any machine. Same code you can transfer to other machines having different operating systems and run. That's why we say Java is platform independent. How Java is platform independent? That's a very big question because of the JVM guys, okay? There is a, there is a thing known as JVM. When you install Java along with the Java, JVM will be installed, okay? Along with Java, JVM will be installed. Uh, if you install uh, Java in Windows machine, JVM related to Windows machine will get installed. If you install Java in Mac machine, JVM related to Mac machine will get installed. If you install Java in Linux machine, JVM related to Linux machine will get installed. What is the use of JVM? Whether uh, Wherever you write your Java program, you give to the JVM, JVM will understand that and convert that into a byte code, okay? That that particular machine can understand, okay? That Mac machine can understand or that Windows machine can understand. JVM of the Mac, Mac machine will convert the Java code from English to the byte code according to the Mac machine. JVM of the Windows will convert that English uh, written Java program into the, okay? Into the byte code, which uh, Windows machine can understand like that way. That's the reason because of JVM, Java has become platform independent. And, uh, why Java is one of the most popular programming languages that are there in the market because it has large community guys, okay? From long time, okay? Though a lot of popular programming languages are coming into the market, still Java is, you know, 
in the race. The reason because it's been there from long period of time and it has a very active and large community. Okay, because of which Java is still the most popular programming languages in the market here because of the large community. Many people are using, many people are, you know, contributing to it, something like that. Okay, then next thing is regular updates, guys. Okay, whatever the software you use, we should get some updates regularly. The software should get updated, latest features should come, security features should be increased. Okay, security updates should come. And uh, things keep changing, technology keep changing. For example, Windows operating system keep changing, Mac operating system keep changing, and Java versions also should support the latest versions and all those stuff, okay? So we need to keep getting updates according to the changing technology. So that updates we get regularly from Java, guys. We have several LTS versions in uh, Java that we can download and install, where we have the support till, you know, 10 years of support they give for every version. So that is the beauty of Java, guys. So this is what uh, you can explain, okay? And I can explain more and more more about Java, guys. It will take a lot of time for me, okay, if I want to. But this much of information is all good, guys, okay? Java is one of the most popular programming languages in the market, like other programming languages, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, JavaScript, and all. Java is also one programming language. Then the, this programming language of Java is used by developers for developing different type of applications like web, mobile, enterprise, etc. It's an object-oriented pro programming language, but it's not 100% though because of primitive data types. Then it is a platform independent programming language because of this concept known as JVM, okay, in Java. And it has a large community support uh, where a lot of people are using it from long period of time still now, okay. And it, it generally gives regular updates because of which people tend to use the Java programming language, okay. So all this stuff you just give to explain what exactly is Java and uh, you'll be able to answer the question properly if you get this particular question in the interviews, okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.